morning, everyone. This is Chatting with Chap. I am your host, Ginger Wade. And look, Sarah Madden is back with us today. She was on Rose Resource Room. If you did not see her, you're going to want to go watch her episode. It was so good. So we have her back because she and her husband, Jeremy, are our convention coordinators this year, which we are really excited about. So today is going to be all things convention. So for those of you who don't know about it, we'll talk about it and let you know. Those who do know about it, we'll talk about the new stuff and let you know and, and all the things. But before we jump into all the convention things, I want to let you guys know that on April 23rd, Ro and I are going to be doing a 250th episode of Chap Chatting with Chap uh, party, celebration party. Like it's going to be Woo! like a party. Yeah, right. <laughs> so like we're going to be putting out a little promo video and it's going to have a link to the Zoom meeting so you can register, so you can get on there in the Zoom meeting and we can chat, you know, do a Q and A, you can chat with me, whatever. We're just going to have a good time. We're going to have some giveaways. And uh, so be looking for those posts because uh, we want to have a bunch of people there to celebrate with us 250 episodes. So we're really looking forward, really looking forward to that. So it is coming soon, which is unbelievable. So anyway, <laughs> okay. So Sarah, um, just so people know who you are, just in case they missed the row episode, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and why you're here with me today? Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am Sarah Madden, and I am new to this in front of people thing, but <laughs> bear with me. Yes. Yeah, so my husband and I have been homeschooling since 2011. Uh, we have six kids. My oldest is in his junior year, and he is also doing dual enrollment with Liberty University. So we we're exploring the high school years and it's all kinds of fun. We love it. Um, my youngest is in third grade, so we are running the whole gamut. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been homeschooling since the beginning and we love it. And I wasn't sure I was going to love it in the beginning, but every year has just been a wonderful blessing and we're so happy to be doing this. Um, and with CHAP, we have always attended the CHAP convention. It's always been our source of encouragement and that information that we need each year to keep going, our furthering our own education as a couple, and then also pouring that into our homeschool. So we love CHAP and we have always just been enriched by CHAP. So we are now to the point where we're ready to give back. We want to continue the the ministry that chap is we want to keep it going so we stepped in last year and we were helping out with registration at convention and this year we jumped full we in both feet. Yes. <laughs> now we are the convention coordinators for the year and of course our hands are being held throughout the process we have wonderful mentors that are helping us along the way but it is it is a an amazing experience and we are loving every every minute of it well you are a joy to work with let me tell you and a breath of fresh air it's so wonderful when you know teammates come on and we're full of energy and we're revitalized by each other and so it's just been great so i thank you <laughs> and jeremy because it's been great so let's talk about convention like some people um may not know that chap holds a convention or what a convention is. Some people call them conferences, whatever. So let's just start with that basic question, Sarah. What What is the chap convention? Like what's there? Like some people have asked me, now those of you who have been there in the past have an expectation, but people who have no idea, I've, I've shared a little bit about it and they've been like, what? Oh my word. So tell <laughs> us a little bit about what on earth the convention is. Okay, what is convention? So- Convention is a time where it's kind of like, let's all go to Jerusalem together and <laughs> be together and learn and grow. But um, it is a, this year it's a three day, yes. which is new when we'll be getting to all the new, but it's a three day event, morning to after dinner time, all day, all three days. And we get together, we have speakers who are world renowned. They come, they travel all over the country and they know their stuff. They are wonderful encouragements. They come and they pour into us 
we have a vendor hall. Yay! Yay. So you can see the curriculum. Yay. You can touch it. Talk to people, you can yeah. talk to the people who are making the curriculums, what's new, what's mm -hmm. tried and true, all of it. So it's all going to be there for you to come and see and touch and feel and all of it. But my favorite part is just being with hundreds of other homeschool families yes. that you didn't even know existed. Mm -hmm. It be in a room surrounded by like-minded people who are all on this crazy homeschool journey, <laughs> encouraging each other just by being there, but mm -hmm. then also getting mm -hmm. to know new people and making these connections and saying, Hey, Oh, you're from my area. Let's get our kids together. Yeah. And all of that yeah. happens at convention. You, you yeah. just come away revitalized, yes. ready to keep going and realizing you're not the only weirdos out there who yeah. are keeping your kids home to teach them. <laughs> and what's yes. amazing about our convention is it is a Christian homeschool convention. Mm -hmm. So you are going to be uplifted in your walk with the Lord along with your homeschool journey. So, yeah, absolutely. And you know what, as you keep coming back year after year, there's people that you see again and again, it could be a yeah. vendor or a speaker or whatever, but I have this funny little story when I was not yet involved with chap. It was very early on. I would come every year. And for whatever reason, there was this one particular lady I saw every year. We either sat beside each other or close to each other in a session or whatever. I always saw her. I didn't know her. I never even knew her name, but I always saw her. I always recognized her. And, and then we switched, um, co-ops and switched churches and lo and behold, there she was. Wow. She's one of my closest friends. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it was so funny, but I first met her or saw her at a chat convention for years. Like I wouldn't see her from year to year except at the, the convention. Wow. It was so crazy. So fun things like that happen. And yes. then, yeah. Yeah, you can reconnect with with vendors and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's wonderful. So the cool thing about convention. And this is, someone asked me this yesterday and I hadn't thought about this before. They were like, well, I have a preschooler. So if I come as a pop, a, a parent of a preschooler, does that, is there like a preschool track and I have to go to all these sessions and I have to be there uh -huh. all day and stuff. And I'm like, because people work and, and local people or whatever, like, do I have to be there all day? And I kind of said this to her. I was like, no, guess what? Convention is like, choose your own adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Come and go as you please. You yes. can go to the sessions you want to. If you're like, ah, eh, I don't need preschool help. I want to know what's coming in high school. Like, and you have yeah. a four-year-old, who cares? Go to the high school session, yeah. right? <laughs> you totally get to pick whatever you want, you know? Um, so in that way, everyone's, it's just like your homeschool journey. Your convention journey will be different from everyone else. <laughs> because you get to pick how you spend your time and where you go and what you do. Uh, and all that stuff. There's, and there's so many things to choose from. And even who you come with for us, it was always a couple's time. Yes, away. Us too. In the beginning, especially when we had mm -hmm. littles and we had grandparents who could help us out. So it was my husband and I can get away and just focus on the next year. So that is a really great way to do it. But also Come with your girlfriends, mm -hmm. come with your homeschool group, all the moms get together mm -hmm. and have a mm -hmm. fun weekend, girls weekend together Yes. or come with your mentor, come with a person who's been pouring into you. And the two of you can just mm -hmm. continue that mentor mentee relationship at convention. So there's so many, yes. so many yes. fun ways come Absolutely. as a family yeah. as your kids get older. Oh, yeah. mine now really do enjoy coming. They mm -hmm. enjoy the speakers, they enjoy the teen track. They enjoy walking around the vendor hall with money in their pocket, burning a hole in their pocket. <laughs> <Burn> a hole. <laughs> so yeah, yes. there's so yes. many different ways to come and people Absolutely. to come with. Absolutely. Yes. I even have a friend who she just always came by herself because she needed to focus. Mm, a yes. lot of kids in a close range and it was... Yep. She could clear her mind. She could think. She could be yes. poured into. She could talk to people. She didn't, you know, was, she just needed that time to kind of soak and whatever. Like, like I said, it's choose your own adventure. We can yep. make it I whatever love adventure you want it to be. So I know. I think we're going to have to use that theme now. Yeah. <laughs> choose your own adventure. I'll write it down. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, great. Okay, so Sarah, like, so we're having this convention. Does this chat know anything about putting on conventions? Is it something that, that do we know what we're doing? <laughs> what's it like when you come to a chat? Is it kind of a mess or like, you know, what's it like? Oh, wow. Well, yes, they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> it's a mess. You walk around. Right now. <laughs> But you should come anyway. No. Yes, you should come. And as you get to know me, you'll know sarcasm is one of my love languages. So <laughs> that was sarcastic. Um, we have always just been unbelievably floored at the professionalism of the CHAP convention. It is well run. It is a well-oiled machine. You can go and you you don't have to wonder what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be. Everything is laid out for you just like, Choose your own adventure. I really yes. love that. You yes. get to just look through the schedule, pick what you're going to go to. Everything is placed in a well thought out array of things. So yes, it is a wonderful, well run convention. It is not, you know, we're meeting in a fire hall and maybe, you know, whatever things are going to happen five that are people. Crazy. so exactly so how many vendors are we at uh, it's a hundred something it's over a hundred yes 100. we're over a hundred yeah. we have space for 160 so it's it's a huge gymnasium so just picture yourself in a giant college gymnasium filled filled, filled with tables of yeah. all of the treasures that you can imagine so yes you're going to walk up and down aisles you're going to be encouraged you're going to walk through there lots of times. So one thing that is different this year with our vendor hall is we're giving you a two hour lunch break. Yeah. So you don't have yeah. to say, oh, I really wanted to hear the speaker, but I need time to shop. There is time built in. Plus there's an hour after at the end of the day that we're keeping it open on both Friday and Saturday. So you have plenty of opportunity to get all of your speaker sessions in mm -hmm. and shop. So Please yes. do that. Yes. And there will be recordings. So if there's some at the same time that you can't do, we'll still get the recordings in there for you. Yes. And um, and the nice thing about the two hour time slot at lunch is you can go get your lunch, your all you can eat lunch in the cafeteria. And then you still have time to go to the you don't have to, it's lunch or it's not either or. Right. It can be both, it can it can be be both. both this year, which is great. And I'll put a plug in for the for the um cafeteria. It it is good. I've eaten there a number of times and there's lots of good options. There's dietary restriction options, like all the things. Um, and I think it's fifteen dollars, which is like psh can't eat anywhere for fifteen dollars. No. And it's only seven fifty for kids seven under twelve. Wow. So yes. So it really is family yes. friendly and it's all yes. you care to eat. So yes. while you're in there, you can't go out and come back in. But while you're in there, yes. yes. So definitely there's an ice cream made. machine, kids, kids. There's an ice cream machine. Not just kids. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. I love ice cream. Johnny ice cream on top. <laughs> So yes, I think this year was what thir number thirty six or thirty six. Um, Is our thirty six? Yeah, thirty. That's hard to say. Thirty sixth convention. <laughs> I remember Mr. Demery saying that on a video. Thirty sixth. So anyway, yes. yes. <laughs> so yes. So we've been doing it for a while. So um, yes. Yeah. So who should come? Like, is this really just something for people who are getting started? Uh, who's going to benefit from coming to this event? Well. You're asking the person who's come every single year since she started homeschooling. So my answer will be everyone, Everybody. everyone at any stage of homeschooling. I have um, a, f a couple of families that are thinking about starting homeschooling next year. So they're coming to get a taste. They're not even homeschooling yet. And then families who have been doing it forever, there is always something to learn. And if you feel like you know it all, well, then just get ready because God's going to change <laughs> the next year for you yeah. because we never know it all. We don't know yeah. what's coming. So to continually learn and grow, that's a wonderful thing that we can do at convention. Plus it is, it's just a super fun time only for people like us. It's like yes. when you get together for different functions throughout the year, this is, this is where you belong. This is your home. Come home and see your friends that you yeah. see every year and hear the speakers that you look forward to and 
talk to the new vendors. There's always something new in our vendor hall, which is so exciting. So yes, it's for everyone, no matter what stage you are at. And this year, I'm gonna do a little plug. Grandparents are free. Yay! We love our grandparents. We love <laughs> having, especially uh, our second generation homeschooling grandparents, like us. Uh, They've started, they paved the way for those of us who followed in their footsteps and we want to honor them. And we want our grandparents to be here encouraging us, yes. walking through the vendor hall with their pocketbooks. Any <laughs> <laughs> present for their, their grandkids. My mom does it. <laughs> My mom does it. <laughs> Every year. Hey, I don't, I don't want, you know, more toys under the tree. I want, you know, more <laughs> curriculum. Yes. So gift ideas but yes anyone at any stage even if you're done homeschooling and you're still encouraging younger families to come uh come with them and help them along the way yes yes absolutely and you know what i even one of our chat mentors uh shannon lehman told me when i interviewed her that she comes to convention every year and she's not even homeschooling anymore wow. she and a girlfriend of hers they come every year because there's encouraging messages to hear Yes. Uh, you know, yes. and, and even if, if it's from a perspective of mentoring others or whatever, but, but your personal journey, you're always learning. I just mm -hmm. wrote a note this morning, cause I'm going to be doing some talks about, um, dispelling all the stuff that we've learned that we think we know what education is, but one of the yeah. thoughts is we're always learning. So how can you finish school early? <laughs> yes. There is no end. There's there is no, no end. end to the learning. So you can, which is to not not a discouraging thing. <laughs> no, it's not a discouraging thing. It's an encouraging thing because yes. it's not like you have to complete a certain amount of something because we're always learning. And that's what we're encouraging you here, parents, is to come to the convention because you're always learning. And and you might be given an opportunity to encourage someone, which is just tremendous. Mm -hmm. It's just tremendous. So you were talking a little bit about new things. There's three yeah. days now. And if anyone knows chat for the last 36 <laughs> years, it's been two days or maybe even started at one as one, but um, it's three days now. So what, how is that? Is it, is the two days completely different? And then like, how, what does this look like now? <laughs> okay. What, what are we doing? <laughs> what, what are we doing? So let's <laughs> take our special day that we've added, which is Thursday. I want to go through what you can expect if you come for all three days. So to come for all three days, you do need to pick the premium adult yeah. admission ticket. So make sure when you're on the registration page of our website, you are looking for premium adult and that includes drum roll, special needs. Yeah. So we have always done an, um, an inventory of questions to our attendees after convention and ask them, what do you want to hear about? What is something that's missing? What is something you'd love for us to explore for you? Because this convention is for you. So often we get, we want to hear special needs topics. That is, has been a recurring theme of requests. So we decided let's go full force and do an entire mini conference built into our big conference. And this is all special needs. Yay. So for special needs, it is Thursday only, and it is not something you can just walk into. You do need to pick the special needs ticket or the premium adult ticket. So we have a keynote for special needs, and that is Hal and Melanie Young. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to have them back. We've had them at convention many times, many and times. they are uh, a wonderful couple with mm -hmm. lots and lots of experience and resources. So we're very mm -hmm. excited about them. We also have other speakers, Sarah Collins, our Yay. homeschool OT. We have Rochelle Matthew Somerville, yes, who's with excellent. HSLDA. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited about mm -hmm. her. Um, Kathy Cool is coming to speak. Yes. Shannon Lehman, who you um, just referenced. She's going to mm -hmm. be one of our speakers. And then our topics. Oh, so we're going to talk about the... Mixed ages and mixed abilities, putting that all together. Mm -hmm. IEPs, mm -hmm. should you get one? Should you not? The neurodivergent learners. Mm -hmm. I'm learning new words like neurodivergent. Yes. yes. Um, executive functioning, the gifted children. So special yes. needs on the other side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, screens and technology, how to incorporate that in. Autism. And then 
special needs in your high school. So these are going to be topics you are going to want to be there for. Yes, absolutely. We've talked about, um, also, we're going to have a little vendor hall. So there's Ooh. not a big, our big vendor hall is only open on Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. but we have some special needs specific vendors who are going to set up tables for you on Thursday. So yeah, if you are part of that special needs conference, you get access to those special vendors as well. Awesome. That sounds amazing. Yay. Yeah. Yay. So definitely come, come to our special needs conference. Yeah. You will not be sorry that you did. We are very excited about this. Um, also new. So not just the special needs that's happening on Thursday. We still have lots more room in our schedule on Thursday. So we're packing it. <laughs> Thursday morning, Elizabethtown College is doing a college and career day for you. It's half a day. So eight to 11. And this is free. It is free. free. You awesome. as parents and your teenagers can come to this for free. You do need to sign up though, because it is limited space. We can only hold 100. So once we get there, we have to cap it off. Um, so Elizabethtown is presenting this for us. And they're going to talk about financial aid, career paths, the admissions process, the nitty gritty of getting into the next phase of your kid's education. So, and so you're going to want to be there and be a part of that. Yeah. If you've been around, um, we did two of these. Um, 2018, 2019, we had them and then we were scheduled 2020 and everyone knows what happened in 2020. So um, it's back. It's back by popular demand. Hey. People have asked for it and we've just combined it into the convention and the conventions at Etown College, it all made sense. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> and then Thursday afternoon, we are adding in some general sessions, which are included with your Friday, Saturday ticket. So if you choose not to go to the special needs, but you still want to come Thursday for the second part of the day, that is included in Friday, Saturday. And those are going to be, we have a lot of beginning homeschooling topics. Mm -hmm. And then high school at home. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people get very nervous about yeah. teaching high school. And you just recently talked about this on one of your chatting with chat yeah. episodes. And it was yeah. very encouraging. And I love the idea that, okay, you poured all of these years into your kids. And now when you're up to the fun part, the fruit where you're seeing them become their own people, yeah. you're going to give them back to the oh. school system. No, yeah. you, oh, yeah. you are <laughs> equipped to do this. Yes, so yes, you yes. just need the confidence to say, yes, you can do this. There are mm -hmm. so many ways to do it. And so that's why we want to focus on that on Thursday afternoon. So we have Jennifer Cook DeRosa, who is an amazing speaker, and she has a whole network of how to get college credit during high school. And that is where she, that's her focus. She actually was a college admissions officer for wow. I think a couple oh, decades. Yeah. So okay. she is, she knows the stuff. Well, yeah. of knowledge in this, yeah. in this topic. So she's going to be there and we're very excited. Lots of other speakers in that Thursday afternoon session. We're going to talk about dual enrollment. We're going to talk about um, the getting started side evaluations and resources that are available to you to get started. Um, there's even a session for dads on getting started. I was going to mention next. that. Yes. I keep saying that to, to new moms and, and, and dads that I know are, are looking yes. into it. I'm like, there's a dad session and have the dads got to come and listen to the dad get session. Here. It's important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that is all happening just on Thursday. That's not even the main two days. So <laughs> we are Thursday. giving you so much information, yes. so much encouragement so that you can keep going. So that is just Thursday. Do you want to take Friday and Saturday for us? Well, Friday and Saturday, and if you've been around, you kind of know the drill on Friday and Saturday. We have keynote speakers that, that come in this year. It's Rebecca Spooner. She's coming in to encourage us. And she has some, I listened to her last year at a um, Virginia's event and she's just super encouraging. She is down, you know, it's that she's a second generation uh, homeschooler. Um, and she has that same, the message that we heard when I started was, you know, God has given you these children mm -hmm. 
to to train them up and and this is the journey you're on and and you know don't get freaked out about it kind of a thing so she's really great and encouraging giving us a keynote the um both days right saturday and sunday yeah. and days. um yeah so a full grid of speakers there like hal and melanie will be speaking there also i'm going to be speaking there um will estrada from hslda uh we have tons of i don't have them all written down like you do i'm not that <laughs> right but the information is all out there. Yes. Our website, which is conv.chaponline.com. Uh, so you could go check out the speakers that we're going to have out there. And so there's there's three sessions at a time. And we have, I don't know, is it six sessions a day, seven sessions a day? But anyway, there's multiple sessions every day uh, that you can check out all simultaneously running with the um, vendor hall, except for the keynote. The keynote is just the keynote. And that's where we talk to you about CHAP a little bit and about all the services and stuff that we provide. And, and I think it's on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday we're going to be presenting scholarships to, to graduating seniors. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about the scholarships in a bit, but that is a really cool uh, event. So we get to highlight two graduating seniors in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, so that is really fun. And um, yeah, like Sarah said, the, the chat booth is open. We are there to talk to you. There's going to be mm -hmm. mentors in the chat booth this year. Um, yeah. If you go to chatonline.com under the resources tab, there is a mentor section where you can find a mentor to chat with. Well, some of us will be there in the booth. We will be available to you throughout the weekend. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. So, and we'll have our little mentor tags on. So but anyone who's in there, um, Alicia and Todd Hunt are going to be in the chat booth too. And they are there from the Pittsburgh area. So any of you from Pittsburgh hailing in from there, uh, you might recognize them. So, but uh, we're there to support you throughout the day. And and like Sarah said, like the, the gym floor is just, you know, table yeah. after table. And it's anything yeah. from, um, there's curriculum, but there's also... Uh, colleges that you can talk to. And there's actually camps and camps are good, not only just for sending your kids to camp, but for giving your kids opportunities to be counselors yes. or in, in yeah. leadership roles and stuff like that. So it's not just like, oh boy, they want my kid to come to camp. It's not just <laughs> that, you know, right. And colleges is dual enrollment. So it's like, they are a, like a curriculum to themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we have longtime faithfuls like Virginia soaps and scents that, which is a homeschool family that started their soap business years ago. Yeah. Um, natural stuff, really good things. There's other homeschool people there um, with the, those, the gifty things, right? The little hair things or yes. there's tons of <laughs> readers and, and fun things like that. So there's so many things to look at and, and people to talk to and mm -hmm. uh, to be encouraged. So, yeah, so that's like um, my, I don't even have the time schedule. It's like eight in the morning until six on Friday and then eight <laughs> to five on Saturday. Or something like that. But like like for me, I just go to the website. I don't <laughs> it's all out there. It is. But... It's out there for you. Print it out. If you're like me, I am such a nerd when it comes to going to these types of things. So I'm going to go online and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to plan out my day. I'm going to choose my adventure ahead of time and, and plot out who I want to see, who I'm going to, my husband wants to see, and we'll split up. And sometimes we'll be together, what the kids are going to do and just I, that makes it's. I love the anticipation of a of an event because yeah. you can you can get excited. You can pick your hotel and and make sure that they have breakfast and think about the fun waffle machine. And you can yes. you know yes. if they have a pool and the kids are gonna. Spend, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a fun weekend together as a family is a fun time for you as a homeschool parent yeah. to come and be encouraged. One thing you mentioned keynote and you got. I just want to say. I don't know why you would come and not go to keynote because it is, uh, it's so it is, serving. it's the part that I talk about when you see all the people around you, that the keynote session is when everyone's together in one yeah. room, mm -hmm. learning the same thing at the same time. And we get to talk about our organization, what's going on with chat for you for the whole year, not just convention because chat yeah. is there for you all year long. Mm -hmm. So you get to, mm -hmm. to be connected to this community that I think is the absolute best opportunity at the convention mm -hmm. to feel that connection is at keynote mm -hmm. and the keynote sessions mm -hmm. are designed for, well, I can even tell you. So the first one on Friday is 
who do you answer to? So mm. right there, think about yeah. that. Who is in charge of your homeschool? Who's yeah. in charge of your entire life? You, you. So who do you answer to? And then Saturday is <laughs> revival in the home. So these are family oriented topics, not, not a yeah. specific avenue. This is something we can all yes. benefit from. So yeah. come to Kino. Absolutely. Don't sleep in. It's not worth it. No, sleep in when you home. Come, <laughs> we're, it's, we're, we're already going to be on the summer break. So yeah, exactly. I was going to say it's in June. You can take Monday off. <laughs> yes. Sunday. The sun will be shining, hopefully. And it'll feel good to wake up early and just get, grab your coffee and bring it with you and oh, come to Kino, please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I agree. I agree. It's so good. And it is fun to be in a room and be like, wow, look at all these Look at all yeah. these people. This is so cool. This is so cool. And yes, bring your children. You can bring your children. There is a teen track, which is an animation course, which looks super fun this year. So um, if your teen is interested in that, or even if they're not, and they just want to, you know, check it out and say whatever. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun thing to do, but that's, that's an option when you're registering too. So um, the little ones are more than welcome to come with you. Uh, everyone asks me like, can I buy a shopping pass and bring my kids? Absolutely. Kids are free. Kids are free. Yeah. And, and our definition of kid for this is, is any uh, student 18 or younger who is in your home as a student. Yeah. That is a, that is a kid. <laughs> that is a child. So I know at restaurants, they cut them off at 13, but not here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. So very good. So Sarah, we have a few more little topics here we want to touch on. So you were really excited. Everyone's really excited. They're like, okay, yes, I'm coming. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I register? What do I do? Okay. Like, what's my next step? So registration, we have a few different things this year because of the new. So go yes. to convention.chaponline.com. Click the button that says register. It is the first thing you're going to see. So you're going to click on register and then you're going to be brought to all the different options that you have. So you can register as a premium adult, which I spoke of before when we were talking about Thursday. So if you would like to be a part of the special needs conference, there are only two ways to do this. You can either only come to special needs and that's it. If that's all that you need is a Thursday conference for special needs, we have that available for you. So you don't have to buy the large ticket if you want to just be here for special needs, which I would encourage you to do that. If you need special needs help, we have it here for you. Mm -hmm. So come either the special needs or the premium. That is the only way to get in on those special needs topics. Then the next tier would be your basic adult. And like Ginger said, kids are free. So this is only adults. This is both you and your spouse. I do, do have questions about that come in. It, no, it is not a, a couple ticket. It is a per person 100%. ticket. So come as a premium adult or a basic adult. So the basic gets you Thursday afternoon, the getting started and the high school at home topics and all day Friday, Saturday. So, and that you're getting so much. I cannot believe the price of our admission is so low. I mean, it's so it low. might feel high, but for what you're getting and uh -huh. compared to other conventions that I have seen, I mean, I'm going to a ladies conference later or, or right the weekend before this, which the ticket pricing starts at $200. But it, I mean, you, if we value what we're getting, we understand that, that it is worth that. Mm -hmm. So of course mm -hmm. we are trying to be as fiscally responsible as we can and make it as affordable as we can for you. But I mean, it is unbelievable what you're getting for a $50 ticket. It is just blows my yes. mind what we're able yes. to give you. For yeah. that $50. So your basic adult includes Thursday afternoon, all day Friday, all day Saturday. If you are a pop, that's something that's one of our vernaculars that we have around here at chat. So a pop is a parent of preschoolers that your oldest child is preschool or younger age, and you've never come to our convention. We want to welcome you in at a discounted rate. So it's $26 if you register ahead of time and 28 at the door. So it really is wow. unbelievably affordable because we yeah. want you here. We want you to learn and grow right from the beginning. So pops, you get the special price. Grandparents, every adult gets 
basically to invite their parents along for free. So all of that information comes in your confirmation email. Yes. So the other the other options you can choose, is the only one other one is shopping only. So that is $35. You can come, you cannot go to any of the speaker sessions, mm -hmm. but if you really just need to be in that vendor hall, we welcome you in at shopping only price. You can come both days and it's only $35 ahead, 40 at the door. So those are your options to register. Once you register, then your confirmation email is the golden ticket for you because all of the information you need for furthering your lunch tickets, your volunteer opportunities, which we'll yes. talk about, or yeah. the team track, team track, that's all in your confirmation email. So don't let it go to spam. Look for it. Make sure you find it right away. It should be sent right after you register. So if you're not getting that, make sure you're putting in the right email when you're registering. And if you can't get it, there is a way for you to reach out to us and we will resend it to you. So make sure you save that email. Yes. Um, our team track is already 40% full. Wow. It is filling very quickly and we're very excited about it. Um, in years past, the last, I don't know, five, six years, we've done a more law and government focused team mm -hmm. track. It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. But this year we thought, okay, let's get our artsy fartsy kids out here. <laughs> and it seems to be very popular right now. So we're very excited <laughs> about that. All of my teenagers are like, yes, sign me up. <laughs> the Madden kids will be there so you can meet them. <laughs> <laughs> but the teen track is a separate ticket and that's going to fill up once it hits our max number that we have to, and it Close will it. probably not be available at the door yeah so that is something you have to decide ahead of time um so all of that to say that is the registration process and then if you want to be able to be reimbursed for your basic adult price, we offer that because we need volunteers. We mm -hmm. need you in order to make this thing work. It cannot run on its own. It cannot run with a skeleton crew. We need mm -hmm. you to come mm -hmm. and volunteer. So the volunteer process, there are two tiers of volunteers. We have regular and super. I don't know about you, but I would rather be super than regular. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to give us four hours of your time throughout the three days anywhere in that three days you can choose and it's first come first serve once you get on the volunteer um, registration link you'll be able to see what's available and you can <laughs> pick your, your chosen job and time free but it's a four-hour shift you do that you come to our volunteer booth and you're going to be given a reimbursement for early bird registration price. So you're getting back almost all or all if you are, if you already registered of your basic um, adult price. So that is an unbelievable benefit. Yes. If you yes. come with your husband and he wants to help out in, in parking and security or whatever, you can still go to the sessions. He can do the volunteering and then you're going to get those benefits. So work, work a way to help us by volunteering. If you would like to be a super volunteer, we're going to give you all that and more. So not just your um, money back mm -hmm. for basic, but you're also on the day or days because a super volunteer is a full day volunteer. So yeah. you're going to choose one, two, or three days that you're going to say, I'm here to help mm -hmm. and wherever you need me. And we will plug you in and we will use you and we will reward you. So <laughs> get lunch for free at the all you care to eat marketplace um for you on any day that you're an all-day volunteer and you'll get a special invitation for an appreciation dinner on the friday night so i mean i don't know about you but i'm food motivated so that <laughs> that's enough for me right there <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're, you're getting in for free and so is your spouse so even mm -hmm. if he's not going to be a super volunteer they will get a free ticket as well if you're a super. So volunteer, it is well worth it. And yes. we have people here to train you in whatever slot mm -hmm. you take. So we're not just throwing you out there and saying, okay, do it. We, we're going to help you. <laughs> we're going to give you manageable jobs. And you get to hang out kind of 
behind the scenes, which is kind of cool. You get to see how chapters cool. run and rub shoulders with those of us who are in it. And, you know, maybe we're going to pull you in and yeah. get you on the planning team. I mean, that's my, <laughs> my husband and I, and it's a wonderful thing. And it's a great group to be a part of. So yeah, come and yeah that's exactly what happened with us too. And let me tell you, that there's types of volunteer benefits do not happen in other places. I know I've had conversations, so it's, it's very good volunteer, volunteer benefits there. So yeah, you get back the early bird price, which I guess was, what was that? 45? It was 45. 45. So if you register now, which we're past early bird, but you would get a reimbursement for the, the early bird amount. So at this point, it's not a complete reimbursement, but it's almost, it's really close. Yeah, almost. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely worth it. And you know what? Serving, it's just good. I don't know, there's something that, you know, God works awesome things when you're serving and you're, you know, being yeah. the hands and feet and helping, helping others on their journey. And you may think that standing there telling people to park here is no big deal, <laughs> but it does help, right? Walk here. This is where the this is. This is where the that is. It's huge to someone who's walking in and going, I have no idea where I'm going, you know? So it's, mm -hmm. you know, your, your job is important. Whatever it is that you would sign up to do um, is, is super important. So, and they are, all the positions are valuable. So, okay. This is, has been awesome and very helpful. There's one more important thing. I want to make sure that our um, graduating seniors are aware of. And that's the scholarship. Should I talk about that? Do you feel comfortable talking about it? Um, I'll give a little bit and then you can okay. fill in where I, All right. where I <laughs> don't know. So we offer a scholarship and the, the background of that, I'll leave for Ginger to talk about <laughs> so where it came from and all of that. And that is something that I know as we're getting closer to the college years, we're looking for scholarships. We're looking for ways to make college or tech school or any kind of gap yeah. program, things mm -hmm. that we, our kids are going to be doing more affordable. So we are here for you and giving you this opportunity. The first place winner gets a thousand dollars in a really big fun check yeah, that they get yeah. offered to them on Saturday morning keynotes. So it's going to be in front of a whole group of people and they could come up on stage and be presented with their, their check. And the second place winner gets $500. So please have your graduating seniors fill out this essay. It's a great way to practice essays because if you, I mean, if you're yeah. at this stage in life, you know, that's how you get scholarships. You need to start yeah. writing. So this is, yes. this is a great way to do that. And um, all of the details are on the website of the whole process of registering or applying for yes. this scholarship. So it is happening now. It's open now. You now. can you can submit it now and you have until April 30th. The end of April is when we cut it off because we need time to make to judge the different essays that come in. Um what am I missing? Well uh as far as where it has come from it's it's called the Lee A. Genesevich a memorial scholarship. Lee was a wonderful homeschool mom, you know, wife. Um, she was just amazing and blessed so many people uh, where she lived. And and Corinne talks about this at convention when she does the presentation, but she came to, to CHAP all the time. She served with CHAP and CHAP just made a big impact on her life personally. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she turned around and blessed many others um, through that, but she passed away. It's years ago now, um, from cancer. Mm. And so her, their family decided they're going to have this memorial scholarship, you know, we're going to, and, and they are the ones that, um, ultimately make final decision on, on who wins, but we do have, um, people who do, um, there's a rubric that they go through and, and, you, you know, are judging the essays by, but, um, it is a wonderful opportunity for your student to kind of get to know themselves better. I mean, you're, you're right. It's a, it's a personal type of thing. You're not writing about a historical event or whatever you're writing about yourself or something from your life. So it's, it's a really good exercise that way. And um, yeah, I mean, who doesn't want a thousand dollars or $500 to go towards the next thing, right? Everything yeah. is, is expensive. So yeah. So um, yeah, check it out. It's at conv.chaponline.com. It's at chaponline.com. You can actually find it there too under resources, I believe. So everything's under resources. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, so it's open. It's open now. You want to get that in and submitted by the end of the month. And um, yeah, it's it's fun. Steve, my husband is the one who prints, presents the big checks, you know, and who doesn't want a big check? Uh, <laughs> I want a big check. <laughs> it's just so fun. It's just really cool. Um, <laughs> it is for traditionally homeschooled um, students. And that does include in Pennsylvania, home. right? Yeah, in Pennsylvania. And, yeah. and it is, it is. Um, so if you're on an online charter or cyber that's that it's a traditionally homeschooled student dual enrollment's fine co-op's fine whatever that type of thing but um yeah graduating this year graduating mm -hmm. senior this year so you want to be checking that out and it, as always if you have any questions comment write into us inbox us here on facebook you can use our contact form on our website ask us whatever questions you have we are here to answer them for you and are happy to do so um, and if we don't know the answers off the top of our heads, we'll find out the answer. We'll find the answer. <laughs> Get it for you. So, yeah. Is there anything else that we think we, I think we've been very thorough. <laughs> yes. There's so much. Come to convention. Um, so much. And I, we talked about it at the beginning of this. Well, actually there is one more thing. Okay. So I have a very exciting announcement to That's make. Right. How do we forget yeah. about talking about that? Exciting announcement. Oh, well, it's good that I saved it to the end, right? <laughs> so if you stuck with us all along, you can now know we are giving away one basic adult admission for free. Yay. We love, we love being able to bless our homeschool community any way that we can. So in order to be entered to win, you have a week from now until the next Chatting with Chap episode, which is when we'll be announcing our April winner. 9th. So yep, until, April 9th. Uh -huh. We're going to put it out there until Monday night at midnight. You have to like, share, and comment on this video. And make sure that you are a follower of our Chap Facebook page and that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to make sure you know where to find us and where to find Ginger's amazing videos and Rose Resource Room is out there too. And we have so much information for you. So this is really just to get your eyes on what is out there. So mm -hmm. that, and, and if you're sharing it, all of your friends are going to see it and it's going to help spread the word about CHAP and what yeah. we're doing for our homeschool community. So you have to like, share, and comment. All the instructions will be posted with the video so that you'll know what to do. And then once you've done that, your name is entered and we're going to do a random drawing and the winner will be announced next week on Chat with Chat. Yay. Yay. All right. So spread the word. And yes. kudos to you if you watched the whole thing and you got here to the end. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure that you let others know that this is going on so they can watch this video and know what is going on and then participate in the contest also. So yeah, it's always fun to bless people this way. I'd love to just... Love I don't know. You know, I know sometimes it's hard to get yourself motivated to go do the thing, but I'm telling you, you're not going to regret going to do the thing. Um, yeah, it's, you're just not going to regret it. There's just, yep. it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for joining me today. I'm so glad that we had the opportunity to just kind of lay it all out there and let people know what this is. Guys, we encourage you to share this video um, just get it out, get it to your groups, get it to your co-ops, get it to your support groups, yep. your yep. friends, whatever. Um, and it's, it's really just because we want you guys to be encouraged. You can do this thing. It is a challenge, but we are called to endure and to just keep on keeping on. Right. That's what our, our thing is to equip, to encourage, to endure. I probably got it out of the wrong order, but it's based on right. 10, right? Okay. All right. So um, you know, we're, we're coming together, supporting each other as the body of Christ. And we're doing this thing to the glory of the Lord and to the betterment of us and our children. And we just want you to be a part of it because we've reaped benefits from it. And we want you to, too. So that's the whole I reason to meet all of you out there at yes. convention. Come and see us. Yes. Come give hugs, take pictures, whatever. We'll do <laughs> selfies. We like selfies, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning in. And yeah, I'll be back next week. Um, it's going to be a convention interview. I think maybe it's going to be Mike Snavely, if I remember correctly. If you don't know him, he does lots of great animal and wildlife things. 
And he's a speaker at convention too. That's right. That just popped into my head. He's a speaker at convention. He's great. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see you next Tuesday and we will be announcing the winner of our giveaway contest. And um, thank you all for tuning in. And thank you, Sarah, for being with me today. Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys. Have a good week.